You good? This is by far my favorite pack of Life Rock. That was it. Arches, caves, tunnels, all in the same box, which has some serious advantages. We've talked about Life Rock before, about the fact that it's 97% calcium carbonate, and that it has trace minerals like strontium and magnesium, the fact that it has 50% void space and acts as a biological filter by providing ample space for the bacteria that's already infused in the rock to grow throughout its porous structure, that it's mined from the ground but was once ocean rock that was home to sea creatures 100 millennia ago, making it a fantastic option that doesn't involve taking live rock from our planet's reefs, and obviously the fact that it is already covered in natural shades of pink and purple pigment, which looks great from day one and doesn't show that terrible brown ugly stage the way white rock usually does. It's a great option for your aquascape and I've personally used it many times in the past in a number of successful reef tanks, but I've got to admit I have a little bit of a love affair specifically with Caribsea's Life Rock shapes. The life rock shapes are essentially an assortment of some of the most useful types of rock structures that most reefers aim to create when building an amazing aquascape, which means you don't need to smash and glue rocks together to try and create them yourself, and instead can just choose where in your aquascape you'd like to incorporate them. In each box of life rock shapes, you get arches, tunnels, and caves. Each box of life rock shapes contains 20 pounds of rock, which works out to roughly four pieces on average. And for example, the box I received has two arches, one donut or tunnel, and one large cave. They are all completely unique since they are made from natural rock, and while they are crafted by hand and are roughly uniform in size, they definitely look different from one another. Getting a closer look at the arches, each arch is around 10 to 12 inches long and roughly 8 to 10 inches wide. They are a lot more interesting than just a flat curved rock, and they have lots of texture in the form of mounds and small boulders on the top of the arch, which provides lots of juts and peaks and recesses to mount corals to. The underside of the arch is a gentle semicircle, and while it is flatter to give that feeling of openness to the archway, it still has lots of texture to keep things looking natural. Each arch also has three holes that pass straight through from top to bottom and can help with flow, habitat for small fish, and also allows them to be used with the rod system that you'll find with the various life rock tree kits. The tunnels or donuts are roughly seven inches wide and seven inches deep from tip to tip of the largest jutting peaks. Their donut shape is obvious when looking at it head on, but as soon as you start to get an angled look, they quickly start to look much more random and natural with all of the small boulders and mounds obscuring the hole. They're a fantastic way to allow more flow through your aquascape as well as for fish habitat, and they can act as the entrance to a simple cave made out of a rock pile or as a simple pass through for fish to travel. I think my my favorite shape though is the cave. They're usually between 10 to 12 inches long, roughly 8 inches wide and 7 inches tall, and are essentially a dome-shaped rock with an entrance on each side with three jutting rocks inside of it. It is extremely versatile. You can lay it curved side down to create an interesting cave for fish habitat, or with the dome side down, which has a very interesting cavernous valley look to it. You can also lay them on either of the open ends for a recessed wall type look with the jutting rocks creating some interesting places to mount corals. There's really no wrong way to use these caves. Back in the day when live rock from the ocean was all that was available, I distinctly remember always digging through the piles of rock at my LFS trying to find pieces that looked like these caves, and they were hard to come by, so I am really glad Caribsea added this shape to their lineup. And yes, for those wondering, you absolutely can create an awesome aquascape with nothing but the box of shapes. Here's an example of a quick scape that I made with these four pieces, but when you start to add in the other styles of life rock, that's where the shapes really start to shine. Building up that aquascape with boulders and then finding places to add in those shapes is just a ton of fun, and you can grab some life rock shapes for yourself by clicking right here.